Listen, I didn't plan to buy this many books. It just kind of happened. Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Coulson here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to buy a bunch of books. Now, that was not the intention. Um, this actually all of these clips were intended to be in a reading vlog. But then I realized that I was going to so many stores and buying so much stuff that I was the reading vlog was being overtaken by book shopping. And I was like, let's just have it as a separate vlog. So the reason that this ended up happening is because I was doing a live stream with Grace on Christmas Day and Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin, beautiful, sweet Gav Gav, Taurus man, cancer ascending, like light of this universe. He is like the sweetest man in the entire world um, because men are trash except for him. He's great. Um, so he told me that he works at a bookstore and he was like, oh, a bunch of bookstores are doing 50% off of all hardcovers tomorrow. And I thought it was just a UK thing. And then the next day I got a, um, pop-up on my Instagram from Barnes and Noble saying that all of their hardcovers were half off. And I was like, excuse me, what? And it was like 1 PM and I'm like, oh my God, I've got to go right now. Oh my God, all the books are going to be gone. It's all sold out. I need to go right now. And I went to a Barnes and Noble. It was such a success that I ended up going to another Barnes and Noble like 10 miles away. And then I ended up going to another Barnes and Nobles 10 miles away from that. So it was a very book shopping day and I did not go with the intention of buying anything but one book. There was only one book that I was like, I don't even know if they're going to have it. I really need to buy this one book. And then one series that I was like, if they have it, I'll buy it. And I ended up getting a lot of books. So we are going to start out this day and show you all my book shopping. And then at the end, I'll show you the haul of everything that I got. It is Boxing Day or the day after Christmas if you live in America, um, which I do. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm Australian. I'm not. Um, I've just heard so many people last night on the live talking about Boxing Day. And I was like, I just love that term. That's just so cute. Anyway, someone uh, on the live was saying how apparently Barnes and Noble is having 50% off all their hardbacks and I forgot. And then just now I saw it on Instagram and I was like, I'm already late. Like it's 1 PM, all the books are gonna be gone. But I'm gonna go anyway. I don't know if there's gonna be anything that I need or still want because I'm sure they're literally gonna be packed, but I'm gonna go and check it out because I'm seriously standing here like, the books are like bleeding out of the store. Like there's gonna be nothing left. So we need to hit the road.
when I tell you this sale is so freaking dangerous, like there were so many people in there, like people my age that were like, it's half off. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah. And oh my God. Okay. I'm not going to show you what I got just yet because I'm actually going to go to another Barnes and Noble because there was a couple hardbacks that they had that I wanted, but they were like a little dinged up. And then, oh my God, when I found all of us visit villains by Amanda Foodie, I dented it myself <laughs> when I was walking around the store because I got so excited because I found another book I really wanted. Um, so I'm hoping that I can fix that because I felt bad. I was like, I don't want to go and like put the one that I fucked up back. So I bought it. Um, spoiler alert. But uh, I'm going to go to another Barnes & Noble and see if they have some of the other books that I want. I'm so excited. This is a good day. This is a good like post-Christmas haul. This Barnes & Noble is fucking huge. Is it two stories? I'm about to start crying. bought five more books fully living oh my god I had four and then there was one that I was looking for and at the other well at the other Barnes and Noble I went to buy it and then I was like well I don't know and then when I got to the cash register it was the book that was up there like the one book they had on display and I was like I need that book and the girl was like have you read Under the Whispering Door and I was like or have you read um Thousands really insane. and I was like yeah and I loved it and she was like okay well then definitely buy this book so I got it and I asked her what her best book of the year was and she said the Atlas 6 and I was like oh my god I own that book and I haven't read it <laughs> what and she was like read it it's so good I bought it for both of my sisters for Christmas and I was like high praise obsessed um I'm starving and my blood sugar is low and I've just been eating those like I've had these in my pocket I've gone through like a pack and a half and I'm sick of it so I want to find a Chick-fil-a and oh wait oh wait it's Sunday I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna find something else. I'm gonna eat and then I might go to a third Barnes and Noble.
Okay, uh, went to a third Barnes and Noble and they didn't have the Poppy War series. I was like, how's that fucking possible that you don't even have it? That's super popular. What? And then they didn't have any of the other books I was looking for. I did almost pick up um, The Charm Offensive and I forgot. And I'm technically, I'm still in the parking lot. But I'm not gonna go back in. I'm not gonna go back out. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I do have it as a hold on Libby in a couple weeks. And I don't know whether I wanna listen to the audiobook or read it physically. I have no idea. I'm gonna uh, message the girlies and ask them what I should do. But I picked up three more books, um, but I'm having them ordered because they're print to order, which I didn't even know that. Like you have to ask for, does that make sense? Like if you don't order it, they're not gonna print it because they're not popular. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head home because I've done way too much damage. I've bought 13 books and I think I haven't even bought 13 books this entire year. Like accumulation. I feel like I haven't bought 13 books. So I guess we're doing a book haul. Wowie zowie. Um, this is the same day. I just put makeup on after I got home from the bookstore. You're welcome. But let me show you. Let me try to lift all these up at the same time. Okay. Not that bad. I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't think, I didn't think I was going to do this much damage, but listen, they were half off. Do you know how much freaking money I saved? A lot. The one that I was like, I will go to as many books or um, Barnes and Nobles as it takes to find this. And that is All of Us Vill Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. So this is a book that I listened to on audio a month ago, I think, and ended up putting it in one of my best books of the year. I love this. Now, this is not something where I'm like, oh my God, it's literary genius. Oh, no, but it's such a fun time. It's like seven ruling families. There's two different kinds of magic. There's just regular everyday magic. And then there's high magic, which is like the good shit, you know? And there's a curse on this town and all the, on these families where if every, like, I think it's 15 years, they have to send one of their kids to basically murder each other and like one person will come out alive and whoever the one person that comes out alive is will get high will, will get high magic but if they don't participate and nobody does this challenge then none of the families will get high magic and they want it so bad that they're like yeah um we'll send our kid off even if it means they die because we want high magic so it's so good and you're following them on this game and it's so like just dark and emo it's so emo like i just love I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to reread it as soon as possible. I'm going to listen to the audio again and follow through with the book and highlight and annotate because it's just such a good time. I really recommend it. Absolutely love it. And then where's the other one? Oh, the next one. This is the series that I went with the intention to get and could only find one of them, which I wasn't surprised about, but it is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. So I want the hardback versions of these. I think they're just gonna look so stunning on my shelf. Now I can only find The Poppy War. I did see The Burning God, but it was in damaged condition. So I'll just wait and eventually I'll get the other two books, we'll see. But I absolutely love this. I'm sure we all know what this is about. It is like a fantasy, but it is heavy on the war and there is a lot of trigger warnings. There is a lot of brutality gruesomeness that happens in this book but um it's about this girl who doesn't want to get married off so she studies and studies and studies to get accepted into like a free ride um war training school and she gets into it but she's like from this like low level society and she's like made fun of and nobody thinks she belongs there but she ends up having this like kind of ancestry kind of like ability this like magical ability that is kind of supposed to like be dead it's like a communal with the gods kind of thing and she's going to use that to end the war but when i tell you she's a great character feng renin is so gray like you are not going to agree with her but you're also going to love her but then you're also going to be so mad at her but it's so good like this is fantastic and katai is actually a cinnamon roll like he's so cute anyway love this highly recommend this laura olympus by rachel smith or smythe i don't know um this is the barnes and noble exclusive edition of it which is so cute i was like oh my god i'm obsessed and i read the first couple volumes of this on webtoons and then i stopped reading it when they announced that it was going to get made into a physical copy which was a long time ago and i cannot wait to physically read this i don't really like reading graphic novels on my phone it's just too tiny and i don't really like it so i much prefer this format this is a hades and persephone retelling and it's so cute and like it's really i don't even know what else to say but it's hades and persephone i'm 
fucking down to ride. Can't wait. I'm probably going to read this like tonight. I actually owned this and then I unhauled it. And then I saw Gabby's best books video and I rebought it. And it's Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. And this is supposed to be about um, a black man and a white man and their sons who were married. But the dads are very homophobic. I think it's set in Louisiana. It's definitely set in the South. And apparently their sons who were married were murdered, um, I, I presume for being gay. And then it's supposed to be kind of like a hard crime novel where like the dads kind of buddy up to like get revenge on these like homophobic rednecks that killed their sons. And Gabby said it's absolutely flawless. Like, I think she said it made her cry. And I'm like, listen, if Gabby put it on her best books of the year, I'm gonna read it, okay? So we have that one. And the first one I got also because of Gabby. I, I take everything, like literally if Gabby or Kayla says to read something, I'm like, I'll do it. Uh, so it's Dancing at the Pity Party. I had no idea what this was about, but I think this was in Gabby's like books that made her cry video. And I saw this and I was like, this is bigger than I thought it would be. And I don't know, I like the feel of it, but it says a dead mom graphic memoir. So I think this is the author making a graphic novel about like losing her mother and dealing with that, I don't know. But when I looked it up on Goodreads, like every single review said it made them cry. So I was like, down to ride, will do. I saw this on the shelf. I saw this. I don't know if you can really tell, but I saw that and I was like, that looks so familiar. This looks exactly like the illustration from Through the Woods. Yeah, Through the Woods, it, which is another graphic novel that I read for Summerween and absolutely loved it. Like loved it, loved it, loved it. And when I looked it um, up on Goodreads, Emily Carroll is the person who made that graphic novel. And I've never read Speak, but I know it is like a bestseller. I don't know what it's about. The back just says, I said no. So I'm gonna assume this is about sexual assault. I could be totally wrong. I honestly don't know what this is about, but I picked up Hinch by Natalie Zena Walcotts. And I mean, I could read this physically. I don't know. Um, this is something where I heard Meg uh, from Meg with Books talk about this and the way that she described it, I was like, I have to read that. And this doesn't have like stellar reviews, but it does seem like something I'm gonna love. And I didn't read the summary, but I'm pretty sure what Meg said is that this is about a woman who, okay, well, you know, whenever in like superhero movies, when superheroes are like fighting villains and it's like, yeah, the superhero hero wins, but they like destroy the entire town. And it's like, okay, well you just crashed into that building. What if somebody was in there? They're dead now. And then they never talk about that in movies and like comic books and stuff. So this is about um, a girl who I, so I'm pretty sure what it is, is that uh, during one of these fights, a superhero like mutilates her, um, like on accident, but, like doesn't apologize. And it's just like, well, I won, I saved the day. And she's like, I'm crippled now because of you. And she is like, um, becomes very like, you know, vengeance <laughs> about it, very upset. And I think it's where she becomes like a henchwoman for a supervillain. I'm pretty sure that's what it's about. I'm very excited. I just love this cover. I love this title. Like I'm obsessed. And I was like, listen, I'm gonna buy it. Th this was one of the only ones where I was like, I know I'm gonna listen to the audio, but I'm gonna buy it anyway, because I can just, I just feel it. Like, I feel like I'm gonna love this book. So hopefully I do. And it's Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. Now I read his other novel or one of his other novels, uh, The House on the Cerulean Sea, and I absolutely loved it. It was so cute. I read it physically. Now when I open this, I'm not doing that to myself. I'm not doing that. This font is horrific. What? D no, no. I will only physically read this if the audiobook is terrible. I don't like this font. It's so tiny. It just looks like it would be a horrible reading experience. Full offense. Um, but I am very excited to read this. I, okay, I'm pretty sure that this is about a guy who has died and he's being taken to like the afterlife. And there's like a guy that works in a bakery in the afterlife, I think. And it's like a gay romance. And I think it's like coming to terms with like mortality. I could be wrong, but I loved his other book. Oh my God. Oh yeah, this is a Barnes and Noble exclusive. So it has an, it has a bonus chapter. That's cool. Come for me, Comfort Me with Apples by Catherine M. Valente. So this one is one that I saw on Kayla's channel because she said this was like one of the most surprising books that she read all year. And I want to say it was like one of her favorites of the year too. But this was so weird. I thought this was a horror. Whenever I asked the woman like where to find it, she was like, oh, it's in the sci-fi section. I was like, what? What? <laughs> okay. Um, it's very short. It's only like a hundred pages and they're... Pages are not very long. I'm very interested in this, like very, very interested. This, 
I don't know. Like, it's a very vague synopsis, which makes sense because it says it's for readers of Go for Gone Girl. And the Gone Girl synopsis is like hella vague as well. But this is about a marriage where this woman thinks her husband is perfect. Her life is perfect. Everything's great. Her house is perfect. Oh my gosh. But her husband goes away on these business trips for like a long time. And when he comes back, he looks like kind of effed up, like dead in the eyes. And she doesn't know why. And he will never answer her about it. And when she asks neighbors about it, they're like, so she's like, oh, okay, like, what's going on? And I don't know what's going on. Apparently it's, it's not going to take long to figure it out. I'm very excited. This is the one that I want to pick up like right now, because I know that I can physically read this since it's quite short. And I'm just very interested. Like the fact that Kayla, the things that Kayla had to say about it really, really intrigued me. And then the last book, this is the book that I bought, even though it was not on sale. Only hardcovers were on sale. And I was like, I don't care. I have to buy it. Tinder is the flesh. I just held it. Okay. Let me do that again. Um, Tinder is the flesh by Augustina ba uh, Baz Teresa. Tarika. I'm sorry. I know I'm not saying that right. Uh, but this is a book that, again, Kayla and Aaron. <laughs> so Kayla and Aaron were doing a live reading sprint and I was with them on their live reading sprint. And this is what Aaron was reading and she was eating. And apparently like Kayla had told her to read this book. And she was like, oh my God, you should not be eating while you're reading that. And then Aaron was like, I'm going to throw up. This is disgusting. And I was like, okay, what? Oh my God. I was carrying this around the store and there was two different Barnes and Noble employees that walked up to me while they saw me carrying this. And both of them said that they were currently reading it right now. And they were going to warn me about how gory it was. And that if I didn't like stuff like that, I shouldn't read it. And I was like, listen, I don't care if I hate this book, but if people are warning me about reading it, I've got to buy it. The guy at the bookstore told me, like one of the employees, he told me that this is where a virus goes around the world and it kills all animals. So it's only human beings left. So they have to turn to cannibalism to have meat. And that is horrifying. And I think that this takes place like in a, like a butchery or like whatever that's called, like a, like a slaughterhouse for humans, I think. So that's disgusting, but I can't wait. Oh my God. I can't believe that I got all of these books. Like this is insane. Like, oh my God, wait, I forgot to tell you. I bought three other books. Oh my God. Okay, so I bought three other books, but I had to get them sent to me because they are print to order. So I ended up buying, and none of these were on sale. These were all paperbacks, but I was like, I'll do it. So I got The Empress of Salt and Fortune, Fort Fortune, and which is a Hugo Award winner. Oh my God. Okay, go off then. Bet. And then also the second book, When the Tiger Comes Down the Mountain. I have no idea what these are about. No fucking idea. But I know that Kayla and Meg said they're really good and that they have asexual representation and honestly say less. The covers are absolutely stunning. And then I also picked up based on Gabby's recommendation, We Need to Do Something by Max Booth the Third. But I picked those up and they should get delivered to my apartment at some point. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's, oh no, they're going to get delivered to my PO box. Speaking of my PO box, I do have one down below. If you ever wanted to send me something, you don't have to, but if you wanted to, that would be dope. I guess I should wrap this up because I've been talking about this haul for like a bajillion years, but thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below on which one of these you want to see me read. And if there's any reading vlog ideas you have for these books, I would love recommendations. I would love to hear that because going into this new year, I would love to make content that you guys really want to see. And sometimes I feel like I'm just making the same content over and over again. So if there's something that you want to see in particular, please let me know. If you want to follow me on Goodreads or Instagram, they are going to be linked down below as well as a myriad of other links to help support this channel if you so desire. And I hope that you're having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye.